Welcome everybody to the PhDJ podcast. My name is Mike. And I am Joe. What's going on, Joe? How are you? What's up, everybody? What's How are you since Mike? the last time we talked two minutes ago when we <laughs> three got minutes off the ago air after, you, after you yeah. peed? How are you doing? You good? So this is uh, part two of our top 40 party playlist, but this podcast specifically will drop on Halloween uh, morning on October 31st. So, and I know you're a big Halloween fan, right? I am a, you know, what's weird, man. I'm a big Halloween fan from like age 45 to present day. Like, oh, so you I came to Halloween late. So, so yeah. growing up, wow, that's, uh, that's odd. Yeah. What, what, did it have to do with you with the kids or no? I guess it's more yeah. recent than that. Even. I, I, yeah. It's even more recent than that. I don't know, man. I, I got that wild hair a few years ago to go all in as Heath Ledger. That's Joker. why I assume you're big into Halloween. Cause I've seen a few pictures of no, you with the zombie makeup that, and the yeah, crazy makeup. It was that, so just one time you did. It was that character. And then I did the other Joker from suicide squad. And then last year, my costume didn't show up. Uh, I had ordered the, the Joker costume from when he's in the hospital dressed as the nurse and he goes to see two right. days. And I had the nurse's outfit and I was going to do the Joker makeup and I had the detonator and I had the white Crocs. And then the nurse's outfit never showed up from China. Like it still uh, to this day has never showed up. Wow. Um, so wow. that's, that's when the mayhem started. So I went to, right. to Rite Aid, I bought the butterfly band aid and I oh, some yeah. black paint and I blacked out my eyes and put a little cut. And dude, right you here. really are the mayhem guy. And every time I see those ads, I'm like, that's Joe Bunn. That is, it's amazing. So what are the boys doing this here? Do they uh, even know yet? Colin has outgrown it. Um, he's 14. He's too cool for it. Really? Yeah. Yeah. yeah like, I guess by 14 yeah. in high school, I guess I yeah, was the he's same high way. School. Yeah. And then uh, yeah. Davis is 11. He's still into it. He's a, a, a character from that video game Fortnite that everybody's fanatical. Oh, uh, okay. Hey, speaking of Joker, and I don't want to go down a rabbit hole here, but have oh, you seen the movie? I did. Intense, right? Super dark. Yes. Yeah. Super intense. Super dark, super intense. No uh, spoilers because yeah, I, no, I know that's... He's really good. I would love to talk to you off air about, yeah. the, about wow. the movie and what's real and what's not and what's imagined because that was one of the things yeah. I was... I'd like super, to see it again. Super actually. disturbing. Yeah. yeah. All right. So uh, the, the pickup premise here is that uh, Joe and I have put together our top 40 party playlist. If you didn't listen to last week... I would recommend you go back and listen to last week's and then pick up here because last yeah. week we presented our top one through 20 in alphabetical order. This isn't in any order of importance or significance or best song to worst song or whatever. We just present them in alphabetical order, mainly so that I can play along and figure out what's on my list and what's not on my list when Joe gives it to me. Um, but also because once you've boiled it down to 40, I don't think you need to go through the extra effort of putting them, putting them in order. That's impossible. So, yeah. Um, yeah. So you finished off, I believe, with Low by Flo Rida, right? Was that your number yep. 20? Yep. So why don't you give me 21 through 25 on your list? All right. Uh, next up, My Girl Temptations. Party yeah, in the we USA. Talk about this all the yeah, time. We do. Hang on, before you go. Oh, so sorry. we talk about that often. Because uh, you think it's a slow song. First time I go, <laughs> I said no ballads, but yeah, you tell me that they shag to it down there. Do. Is that right? They do. Yeah. And for our yeah. friends listening in England, shag does not mean the same thing. It means there. Thank you. Yeah, that wouldn't make for a good party. If you could drop <laughs> like, my girl and they just started banging on the dance floor, that would be an interesting gig. <laughs> um, okay. So, oh, Party in the USA. Yes, sir. Yes. Uh, party up DMX, uh, play that funky music and then, uh, raise up PD Pablo. Wow. Yeah. <clears throat> so party up, I think I added, um, no party, party up. You had, Oh, did I? Okay. Years ago. Okay. I added it. It's not on my list, but it's definitely okay. become, and I, and I, I will credit you with this. You were the one that kind of reminded me of that song and I put yeah. it into my party playlist. Yeah. It's definitely a song I play way more often than I did before two years ago. Uh, it didn't make my top 40, but it, it would probably make my top 50 or six. Okay. It's, it's, it is, is it, it is a song that I play often. Yeah. Let me just speak briefly on Petey Pablo. You have to talk to me about race. Yeah. yeah, you have to talk to so, me about race. So, number one, Petey Pablo lives here. Number two, that song, uh, we went uh, well into the playoffs last year. The Hurricanes did uh, on, on a wild card. 
from what I remember, I don't know anything about hockey, so I may be speaking way out of turn, but I don't think I am. And that song is like their anthem because it's North Carolina, take okay. your shirt off, twist it around your hands, spin it like a helicopter, right. North Carolina. Like, so for here, it's just, it just works. Much yeah, like so a that, song. That's one of those regional things. I don't have Correct. any Springsteen on my top 40, but if I expanded this to top 60, probably yes. uh, Glory Days would eventually make the list. But right. that, I mean, do you ever play Bruce? Do you ever get asked for Bruce? Is that, is uh, that a common? I, I did last two weekends ago. It was a heavy Bruce wedding, but they were from up your way. And But that's how rare it is. Yeah, yeah. it's super rare. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I do events sometimes that are literally three miles from his house. So, yeah. you know what I mean? And he grew up in the area. He's constantly making appearances locally. He's one of yeah. those celebrities that, you know, when he when he has a new album released, he'll pop into the record store to sign him. He, you know, he surprises fans a lot. So, yeah, it is definitely Bruce Springsteen territory. Like I said, I don't have any on my list, but mm -hmm. but I pr I'm sure I play more Bruce than you. And I don't. I can't even remember playing Raise Up. I don't even, I'll be honest with you, I don't think, when you said it, I'm like, I don't know, I don't have any idea what he's talking about. Um, I'll have to look it up. Yes. But it's also good to know, if you're not in North Carolina and you ever get a North Carolina crowd, that's a good one to drop. And they'll be surprised that you knew that. Yes. It's like, Ohio State and Snoopy, right? Is yes. That, Hang on, Snoopy. Yeah. Snoopy. Hang on, Snoopy. Yes. If you have an Ohio State crowd, that's one of their songs that they love. It's like Sweet Caroline for the Boston Red Sox. It's like that. So yeah. jump around. Yeah. The Tar Heels play when they come out. Devil in a Blue Dress. The the uh, they play at Duke when they come out. Like there's, do a little research. Yeah. Because yeah, you'll, so you'll these blow these minds. Sometimes are, are yeah. really good to know. All right. So uh, we only. You, I only had one. Um, in my list that was on your last five. Amazing. Living on a Prayer by Bon Jovi. That's yeah. definitely on the list. I don't yeah. think that, even though Bon Jovi is a Jersey guy too, I don't think that's a regional. You had it on your list. Yeah. yeah. Uh, like I said in the last episode, I don't think 80s is as huge as it was years ago, but yeah. that's still to me a banger. Last mm -hmm. hour, sing along, great rock slash dance song. Love. Um, Mr. Brightside. That surprised me that didn't, it, it, oh, do you not play shit. that? No, hold up, hold up. Wait, did you skip that? Yeah, I did. That should have been on mine. I'm sorry. But it's not on your top 40. It, I don't I, think I missed it. No, you didn't miss it. I, 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 dr I thought I dragged it over to it because I, okay. I, did, I did. No worries. Something. Yeah, that, So it that, was a bubble song. Yeah, it's a, let's, yeah. let's just call that 41 for me. Okay, yeah. I mean, to me, and again, I didn't have that on my list two years ago. It's, it's added to yeah. my list. It's become, and it probably, again, has a lot to do with age. What is yeah. that? Mid-90s? Mm, yeah, that's Late 90s? Right. Maybe even 2000. I think, yeah. I think The Killers is, is, is this millennia. Uh, <clears throat> oh, four. Yeah. Okay. So 15 years ago. So, yeah, I mean, I guess it's, that's just old enough now to be retro. Yeah. And uh, I get a request for it often. But even when I don't, I, I will work that in. And I can't remember the last time it failed. I mean, yeah. people just sing along to it. They jump along to it. High energy song, Mr. Yes. Brightside. 100%, yes. Now that we found love, Heavy D and the boys, wow. love it. Uh, I, I consider that hip hop, but, but you know, much more danceable. More it's danceable, like a 120. Yeah. yeah. Um, um, a Play Hard um, by David Guetta. That's become uh, a, a great high energy last hour type song for me. Work hard, play hard. Yeah. A great drop, very similar to uh, Now That We Found Love. Uh, it's got that great build up and then that great drop. And then I also have played that funky music by Wild Cherry. Great song. I use a remix of that. It just gives me a clean uh, 16 in. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, I, that when that right when the guitar drops, um, people just react to it. And it's not a, not necessarily an older crowd no, thing. It just yeah, works it still for every works. Single crowd. Yeah, it's funky, man. And I swear, when they sing along, they're using the f word sometimes. Play that music because <laughs> uh, i'll even say sometimes on a microphone the word is funky it's right, funky right. you know because i swear sometimes you're shouting something else but <laughs> all right so right. that's uh and i don't care yeah me we're neither. all grown-ups no, no. we can hear we're adults. we can hear bad words 26 through 30 joe go uh respect aretha yes uh, so hold on let me ask you about okay. that was okay. that on, do you remember was that on your list oh 100 yeah two years ago she was still alive correct yeah. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, she, yeah uh, I, it was on my list two years ago, but I think I use it more often since she's passed. Even though it was uh, on my list, I, I don't remember a gig that I didn't play Respects. She since died she 
Last yeah. August, she died. Yeah. Yeah. I, I okay. always played it. It was always a, like a yeah. first five song kind of thing, like right yeah. out of the gate. Yep. Uh, yeah, so it's, it's a female anthem. Women love it. Yes. Women react to it. I, I don't know how you can, you can not play it. Yeah. No brainer. Uh, September. September, Earth, Wind, and Fire. Good. Uh, Shake It Off, Taylor. All right. So it's time we have a lot in common. Yep. Shout. Uh, yep. Always Animal House version. Otis Day in the Always, nights. always, always. Never yeah. Isley. You know, it's funny. I have a wedding. I think it's next weekend that uh, wants to, specifically told me they like the eyes. And I tried to talk them out of it in the review. <laughs> I, literally, I right. literally played both versions. And I right. said, are you kidding me? You want? And they said, yes. Yeah. So I said, listen, I'll do whatever you want. But I don't think the Isley Brothers is as good. But yeah, they don't like the animal. <laughs> for some I reason. love I that. To talk them out of it. Uh, all right. And then one final one in this. Um, yes? Sorry. Uh, Sign Seal delivered, Stevie. Oh. Always. Always, always. And people dance to that. God, huh? they love it, dude. It's like yeah. my second song usually. Or maybe even my opener. Because it goes... Wow. Boom, 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 boom. Well, go back to he, the Rob Ferret thing. With, that's you know, right. It, that's it, what it I'm saying. It certainly does build up. You can yeah. drop and it. He, when and he kind of screams. Song, he goes, hey! Yeah. Yeah. Or whatever. Um, so get everybody's yeah. attention. Yes. Yeah, wow. I will often play that like right after the best man's toast going into salad or first course or something. Try and it. maybe sometimes people will get up and dance to it. But to me, it's, it, it's Try similar it like to Africa. First, second, yeah. or third song th this weekend. Okay. Like, l unless they specifically are like, we're, we want to come out like swinging. No, I get it. Right, right. I, listen, it's a great song. I have no yes. doubt. But I don't have any Stevie uh, Wonder on my list. Okay. 26 through 30 for me. Mm -hmm. Start off with Poison by Belle Biv DeVoe. Yeah, it's on the bubble for me. I Great track. Yeah. Um, and again, just because 90s now is so huge, mm -hmm. uh, I, I will often do as a threesome everybody into wannabe, into Poison. That, that, that to me is a threesome that I, mm -hmm. I often play. And then Joe and I have a ton, ton in common here. I've got Respect on my list. I've mm -hmm. got September by mm -hmm. Earth, Wind, and Fire. Mm -hmm. you usually play the original or a remix of that. I play the original OG. I have a remix, slight, I want to call it a slight remix. It just gives me a cleaner in. Yeah. And it was funny when Rob Foray said it's one of those songs that build up. My first reaction was, no, it doesn't. And then I thought, <laughs> oh, yeah, the original right. version builds up. I usually play a, a remix, but it, it's very, very, very true to the original. It just gives it a little bit cleaner for me to mix in. Shake It Off by Taylor Swift. Sorry, that's still on my list. Yeah. Sorry, not sorry. I, <laughs> you know, listen, remove Taylor Swift from the equation. I think it's a great song and it works. Yeah. And I have Cupid Shuffle on my list. That's right. a twosome that I often no play. Brainer. Yeah. I talked about this in my, in my last seminar about uh, pre-mixing dance, uh, um, audience participation. Yeah. I have a pre-mix of Cupid Shuffle and then as it's ending into Shake It Off and I play those two back to back at almost every single event mm -hmm. and then shout uh, like we talked about from Animal House version, mm -hmm. if you can if you can avoid the Isley Brothers, that would be my recommendation. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right. So we got ten left, Joe. Okay. Uh, I'm coming we'll out. Uh, sing along, uh, classic. Maybe because we're here. I don't know. Sweet Caroline always works. Always. Uh, I I I was on the fence about this, but it still works. This is how we do it. Oh wait, hold on. This. Yeah, that's that was probably in my top. Yeah, actually, that was on my list last time around. Yeah. Didn't make this one. Yeah, it was. It almost didn't make mine. Okay. Um, turned down for what? Yeah, the, I've stopped playing that. Yeah, man, it still goes off. Uh, Uptown Funk. Yep. And Wagon Wheel. Not yeah. Darius Rucker, Old Crow Medicine Show. Are, do do people call you out if you play the Darius, or you just no? Never they, 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 it's either one camp or the other. It's one camp right. or the other. Every other right. week, it's always on the list. I mean, almost every weekend it's on the list, but you cannot predict who right. it's going to be. And do they line dance to that down there? No, no. It's um, you know, if you listen to the words, it's thumbing my way in the North Carolina, right? Staring at the road, pray to God I see headlights, and then it says, "I'm hoping for Raleigh. I can see my baby tonight." Right, right. And I'm assuming they mean Raleigh, as in here. As um, opposed to what? Is there another <laughs> Raleigh? I, if he's not saying that, maybe this, I'm just messing up the words. But uh, <laughs> what's crazy about that song, do you know this, the, the story behind this song, Mike? I don't think so. As a, as a you know, music historian or a, a, a researcher, if you will, from what I know, this song was what Bob Dylan used to come out and warm up to. 
he, it's a Bob Dylan song. Oh, I had heard that Bob yeah, Dylan wrote that song. He, or, or, or maybe yeah. the first part of it, and then he would he would just riff on this, and somehow it it, it became a song. Like wow, which is weird. Know. If you listen to it, it doesn't sound like a Bob Dylan song at it all. It doesn't. Did he ever release it? Is no. there a Bob Dylan version I, of I Wagon Wheel? I don't. So think he just so. wrote it. And, wow. Yeah, he definitely does say he's you know. Heading down south to the land of the pines. I'm thumbing my way into North Carolina, staring up the road. Pray to God I see headlights. I make it down the coast in 17 hours, picking me a bouquet of dogwood flowers, which is our state tree. I'm hoping for Raleigh. I can see my baby tonight. I, I can't imagine Bob Dylan wrote that part. Uh, right. I don't know where these guys are from, but I'm assuming they're from down south somewhere. Right. Anyway. Cool. It, it just goes yeah, it's, crazy. That's here. not on my list, A, yeah. because I would consider that, to me, it's more of a I don't want to say slow song, but like mid tempo. Yeah. I'll drop yes. that during a course, maybe during salad or something like oh, that okay. as a sing along. But um, and then maybe sometimes people would get up to it. But yeah, that, right. that just didn't make my list. All right, so thirty one through thirty five for me. Mm -hmm. Show me love by Robin S. Mm -hmm. uh, female anthem, love it. Um, that's one of those just women just respond to it and and love it shut up and dance to not make your list i'm surprised it was it uh, it was a bubble yeah bubble yeah yeah that to me is Call still that. a banger yeah i had it on my list two years ago i still have it on my list last half hour type song yeah um yeah. love it so, uh, we'll often end the night with it you know if i haven't played it yet and i'm looking at 10 minutes left i go oh, let me save save shut up and dance for the end sweet caroline definitely great sing along now here's one of those that it's new so it made my list because it's hot right now right probably six months from now wouldn't be truth hurts by lizzo wow um just i, I am dropping that I at know. every single party it has become a female anthem i couldn't do uh, it I just couldn't do it. I actually played it Friday night and mixed out of it early. And, oh, um, God. Oh, it's and, got and somebody up. came up. Well, yes. Two, two uh, women, <laughs> I don't want to call them girls, whatever, came up and they were like, you didn't play the whole song. And I'm like, sorry, honey. Uh, I probably didn't use honey. But, um, yeah, you just don't like it, huh? <laughs> I mean, I can't stand her, man. It's oh, surprising for somebody who's just open to new music. I man. know. And I've tried. Track, it, dude. It, it doesn't even sound like it's in the right key. <laughs> <laughs> it's so bad. Well, I would tell you to open your mind, but I know you have I will. I'll like play, I mean, you listen, like I, yeah, you'll play me. it if it's requested. I'll play, absolutely. Yeah. I'm not that yeah. guy. Like, yeah. I'm not, I'm, I'm about to, but drop, here's, but I'm here's about the to drop a line dance on you here in a second. I'm playing Truth Hurts even if it's not requested. So you're waiting okay. till it's requested. I'm playing it even if it's not requested Correct. and it hasn't failed me yet Correct. in the last. It won't. Not yet. No, not yet. No, because it's, it's hot got, as it, hell. Yeah, it's got it's got legs. Yeah. And uh, and then twist and shout by the by the Beatles. Yeah, that was on the bubble for me. Yeah, yeah. All right. So I know right. you have somewhere to be in five minutes, so we're I running ahead on time. So give <laughs> me right. thirty six through forty. Final five. Wanna be Spice Girls? Definitely. We found love. Always. Definitely. Always. 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 Always, always. always. Yeah. Wobble. Um, oh, so that's yeah. your line dance. I, yeah, not that I, you had no to have one. one no, okay. I didn't have to have yeah. one, but I, I, I gave it. Yeah, by Usher, no uh, doubt. And I guess it's technically you shook me all night long. Yep, that's that's the last on my list as well. It is technically all right. So all of my last five you've already mentioned. Uptown Funk, absolutely no doubt. If you're asked for Bruno Mars, that's the one to play. Even if you're yep. not, I will often open the night with that one. Nice first song out of the box. It it just crushes. It also, if I haven't played it in that regard, it's great for coming out of a hip hop set because you can pitch it down to get out of a hip hop set and then pitch yeah. it up to get into a dance set. Uh, great, great song. Wanna Be by Spice Girls, going back to the whole 90s pop thing, no doubt. We Found Love, yes, absolutely, no yep. doubt. Uh, I didn't put Wobble on my list. I had it on a couple of years ago, two yep. years ago when we made this list. It's fallen off. Yeah, by Usher, no doubt, and no doubt you shook me all night long. That's, that's a, those are great rock. That's a great rock party sing-along. Um, to me, Don't Stop Believing. Uh, living on a prayer and shook me all night long is often I often play those three yep, together me late too. in the night sing along all right so I didn't ask you to do this so I know you don't have it but I put my top 40 list together without consulting two years ago and then I looked at the, I compared yeah. the two I actually third I have 13 songs that are different so oh, wow. two 
two years ago, uh, I'll just go through this real quick. I had mm-hmm. Billie Jean. I had uh, Cha Cha Slide. I had Despacito. I had Get Low. Mm-hmm. I love it, which you you, you mm-hmm. have a great song. It Takes Two fell off of both. That, mm-hmm. that fell off of my list, and I don't remember you mentioning that. Mm-hmm. Uh, love Shack. Moni Moni. I don't know why those two. I guess yeah. I, I guess going back to the fact that 80s is not as hot as it was. Yeah. Old time rock and roll. Mm-hmm. I was actually surprised it was even on my party playlist two years ago. Sexy mm-hmm. and I know it. This is how we do it. We are family fell off this, yeah. this year's list and the wobble. Mm-hmm. And then I also had an interesting observation and I, 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 I'll, I'll do this when I have time to go through yours. What I would consider to be one-hit wonders, Mm -hmm. I was surprised at how many one-hit wonders I have on my list. Baby Got Back, for example. Sir Mix-a-Lot. Would you call him a one-hit wonder? I would, yes. No doubt, right? Uh, Be Faithful. I can't name another song by Fat Man Scoop. No. Uh, I know they're a newer band, so they might not finish their career as a one-hit wonder by Cake by the Ocean by, I don't know how you pronounce her name. DNC, I think. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, Cupid Shuffle, no doubt. Dynamite. Has Teo Cruz had another big hit? No. Um, I like it like that. Blackout All Stars, Ice Ice Baby, Jesse's Girl, One. Jump Around. One. Uh, now that we found love, I, I would mm-hmm. consider him sort of a one hit wonder. Kind Play of. that funky music. Can you One. name another song by uh, Show Me Love, Robin S? One. Uh, so it was surprising how many, you know, how many one hit wonders are on my top 40. I, I never I just really was, thought about I was, that. I never thought about I I certainly didn't think about it when I put this list together two years ago. Yeah. But as I was looking at it, I was like, God, I do have a lot of one hit wonders, but their one hit is, is kind of huge for us, you know? It's unbelievable, man. I mean, just the music business in general, like you wonder, like, I mean, and people, you know, Rick Springfield, I think has a residency somewhere. Like, I mean, like the longevity you can have off of, of a career defining song is, is amazing. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, I, you know, you and I saw Vanilla Ice a year and a half ago at Moby yeah. Beat and yeah. he got yeah. paid to be there and right. perform. And, and like, you know, he's not making no fuck but, you money anymore but he's no. still making money to perform no doubt a hundred and, and has parlayed it into a house you know a home right. improvement show and this that right. and the other right i heard rod stewart or read rod stewart's autobiography and he said somebody told him early on if you can last 10 years in the music business you can have a career uh and and rod stewart's certainly an example of that he lasted more than 10 years but you know rod's still um, tours on his hits. He's put out sure. a couple of albums in the last few years, but nobody sure. buys new music anymore. No, no. especially Unless from a legacy standard. artist like him. He only, uh, yeah. right, right. Um, but yeah, I mean, he's made a career. Elton John is doing his final tour. It's going to wind up lasting like five years, probably. Yeah. Uh, but I mean, that's an example of he had a long enough career that he can now. He had a long enough segment where he was relevant that he can now just have a career off of that. It's the exact same principle as um, syndication with TV. You know, you have these TV yes. shows. I yeah. can't remember. They say once you hit this X season, maybe it's five or seven, that you're I think basically it's seven. You'll, set for life. Right, because like, you'll be set for life with the residuals from, from uh, yeah, the repeats yeah. and everything. Yeah. So we, we, last time we got some people that played along. We'd love to have other uh, listeners yeah. play along. Put your top 40 list together. Compare it to ours. Just let us know what you have similar, what you have different, because that's yeah. always the, to me, that's, the, that's where the interest thing comes in. You know, like uh, Party in the USA. Last time yeah. that wasn't on my list because mm-hmm. of Joe, I put it in. And, and yep. it's been, I don't want to call it a banger, but it's, mm-hmm. a, it's in my regular rotation now. Nice. You know? Yeah. Thanks for listening, guys. This is, uh, yeah. This is definitely one of my favorite two episodes uh, that we do. And um, we'll be back with some more like this. Yeah, we will. Have a great one. All right, guys. Later. Thanks, Mike. I send those over, Joe. Yeah, give me like uh, an hour. I need to. No rush. No rush. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I got to get to the office. All right. Later. Later.